Hi, my name is Zach Palmquist. I'm the Director of Engineering at Safe and Sound Security. And today we're gonna to talk about parking lot security. What are some of the common problems parking lot security cameras help solve? There's a lot of break-ins in larger parking lots. People go looting through cars, um, side shows, car shows, gathering of people. Um, we can really alleviate those problems with uh, monitored services on the cameras. We can actually have live agents set up on the cameras where if an analytics detects a large group of people for more than a set amount of time, it'll automatically alert us, pops up on the screen, and we can talk down to the intruders to get them to vacate the premises. Um, other ways that we can help with this is license plate recognition cameras. We can actually capture and catalog every single license plate that goes in and out of a facility. So in the event that there is a crime, we can go through the playback footage and find out the license plate of the vehicle. What types of security cameras do you recommend are best for parking lots? I would say definitely cameras with analytics. It's highly unlikely that you're gonna have a guard or a, a somebody that works for the company sitting there watching the cameras 24 hours a day. Analytics allow us to really refine the search on cameras because they know a difference between a person and a vehicle. We can set up alerts for line crossing, intrusion detection, lots of different analytics features that alerts us during an actual event. How do parking lot security cameras help in the event of vandalism or theft on a property? Yeah, I mean, the playback functionality of it, um, especially if we have areas that have line crossing detection or intrusion detection, if somebody crosses over that line or into an area they're not supposed to be in, it'll automatically alert us and pop up on the screen so that we can see it live view. What are some of the common obstacles when installing parking lot security cameras and what are some creative solutions Safe and Sound Security has come up with in the past? Well, the, definitely the biggest two are power and internet connection. A lot of the lights poles that we mount cameras to in parking lots, they are either on a photo cell, which only allows the power to come on when the sun goes down, or they're on a higher voltage, say 277, when our cameras take less than that, their power over ethernet. So once we can figure out the power situation with either a solar panel or an electrician providing us low voltage power, um, uh, the second one is how do we get internet to that camera? But that is no longer a problem. We are able to use wireless point-to-point -point systems where I can plug in my camera to one of my wireless transmitters and I can shoot it 13 miles to a receiver that has an internet connection. So those problems are no longer, they're no longer prevalent. Can parking lot security cameras also detect faces and license plates? What kind of equipment needs to be put in place to achieve that? We can't really capture faces. Um, usually the parking lot cameras are up higher, but license plates we definitely capture. And we have to have a special camera called a license plate recognition camera. Um, typically, a standard a lot of people think standard cameras can pick, pick up license plates 24 hours a day. Sometimes in the daylight they can, even if it's a really high resolution camera, they can. But what happens at nighttime is you get what we refer to as infrared bounce back. So all of our cameras had infrared lights on them. It's just a spectrum of light that we can't see, but it's really like a flashlight coming out of that camera. All of our license plates have the same film on them that all the street signs do. When you're driving along in your car and your headlights hit a street sign, it reflects back. The license plates have the same film on them. So imagine our camera shining onto a license plate. Like I said, it's like a flashlight coming out of there. We just can't see it. So if that flashlight hits the license plate, bounces back and it blinds the camera. And we refer to that as infrared bounce back. So license plate recognition cameras have special filters built into the lenses that alleviate that IR bounce back. Can I share my parking lot security camera feed with local law enforcement? How does that work? Absolutely. All of our cloud-based systems allow for an immediate share. While you're in the interface, you hit the share button, you type in either an email or a phone number, send it. It'll automatically send a link to that email or that phone number where they can click on it and they have instant access to the live feed of the cameras. If you'd like to learn more about parking lot security, feel free to reach out to us here at Safe and Sound Security.